Breaking news, America! Yesterday in Palm Beach, Florida, while he was golfing, Donald J. Trump was almost assassinated again. This guy used a AK-47 to try to take him out. He even had a GoPro on him. So obviously he was doing this for fame and glory. <sighs> These idiots. Don't they know that after the first time, it's basically divine intervention? I mean the first time. Imagine that the first time Trump got shot at, it barely grazed his ear. That is extremely lucky. But nope, they will try again and again and again and again. They, they, they will try again because they're so freaking deluded. That and the hate rhetoric that Kamala Harris that Kamala Harris spoke about during the debates. She said how Donald Trump is a threat to democracy, yada 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 blah 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 over and over again. That's all she said. But people some people who are off their meds, they take that to heart. So what what did they do? They grab like a, a fifty year old rifle to hunt him down like a f like a bloody sniper and then try to, you know, execute him. But they keep failing. But this is just getting ridiculous for for heaven's sake. When when did this become the normal to try to shoot your opponent? This is just crazy. It needs to stop. This needs to stop. It's only a matter of time before somebody actually, actually does it. Not kind wood. And then boom, civil war. I don't want that. No one freaking wants that. So why can't we just tone down the hate rhetoric? And I'm talking to the Democrats. They said, oh, Trump needs to slow down on the rhetoric. He was almost shot at. Again. The first time he was shot in the ear, second time it, he, he, he and others were almost injured. So maybe maybe we should be the ones to tone down the rhetoric when they are the ones that are causing the rhetoric. Hmm?